let's talk about those fixed costs. Yeah. I'll get to the biggest one in a moment, which is construction price. Let's say we were talking about townhouses. Let's say we're looking at doing a small townhouse development in a cheap suburb. Let's mm-hmm. just say as an example. In terms of costs... Well, let's say a small townhouse, so how many are we doing? Oh, three or four. Okay, we're doing three or four. Yeah. Or more. Okay. <laughs> three or four sounds good. So we need professional people. We need an architect to design. We need engineers. What an architect charges to design those three townhouses is not dependent on what suburb they're in. Exactly. It's dependent on the fact that he takes a certain amount of time and skill to design three townhouses. And so expensive suburb, cheap suburb, same fees. Engineers, structural engineer, hydraulic engineer, you know, all the engineers, they don't have a different price range for different suburbs. It's based on, like a structural engineer, three townhouses, a certain amount of work, that's what they charge. Mm. Most expensive suburb, cheaper suburb, doesn't matter. So so all these different professional people, they all charge the same. It's not like they have a friends and family rate and then a cheaper area rate. No. They might have a, a friends and family rate, but they probably, well, they definitely don't have a cheaper area rate. No, they don't. It's not based on area. You no. Know, they're not going to say, oh, this is a... You know, a cheap area, so I won't charge as much. Mm. <laughs> you won't find them doing that. And uh, councils, well, councils' fees do vary how they calculate them. Mm. Like if you, if you went to somebody somewhere like Brisbane, for instance, contributions are always the big council fee. They don't they, miss you. They don't miss you. <laughs> they don't but, miss you. But say in, in Brisbane, just to choose one, the contributions are based on the number of bedrooms. So if it's a three-bedroom townhouse, they're pretty ugly. They're up around 30000 If it's a two-bedroom, they're a bit over twenty. But some councils charge on construction price as a percentage, so it does vary, but it's not based on a suburb. No. They don't have... They're just standard costs yeah, for so that council. Ca- yeah, yeah, yeah. Construction fee, council fee. Finance. Mm. Finance is a particular interest rate. Mm. It's not dependent on suburb. You pay the same amount of finance wherever you live. Yeah, if it's, you know, 3%, 6%. Commercial, whatever it is, it's not suburb driven. Mm. Uh, same with like things like GST, stamp duty. No, I mean, none of the. There's no cost. As I guess what I'm getting around saying, there's no cost in a development that varies depending on the suburb. Yeah. Even construction, which is the big cost, if you like, mm. it's not suburb dependent. No. If I had a particular design, let's say for a three bedroom townhouse, let's just say it was a 140 square meter three bedroom townhouse. Building prices are pretty much based on square metres. Yeah. And and so it wouldn't matter what suburb I built that particular townhouse in. It's going to cost me, you know, let's say 300000 to grab a figure. 300000 in a cheap suburb is going to cost me 300000 to build expensive. the identical one in a more expensive suburb. And so it's not suburb dependent. And that's the, the big cost. And the only reason the, the build cost is going to be higher is if you up spec. So that has nothing to do with no. if you're choosing a higher spec, a higher quality or a better quality home to build. That, and that has nothing to do with where it is. You could plonk that anywhere. Yeah. So what we're saying is, yeah, if you're built in an upmarket area, uh, you probably design a different type of townhouse with different specs. But I'm not talking about that. I'm no. talking about the, the same yeah. townhouse in a different suburb. The mm. same town mm. uh, costs, costs the same. Mm. And so... These costs are fixed, and the only variable is the land. Mm. 